Yo, that dude grabbed his tail. Yo, that snake was out, B. Unbelievable. All right, so, so we're about to go live in, in a few seconds. Noob, why you do that, yo, with that picture? I'm done. <laughs> Yo, that joke I, is funny, yo. You, I remember that. I had one. I had some too. I know you had some. Shut up. Alright, so it on, pla it on plastic wheel, sorry. Alright, check it. We're it. we're about to roll in three. Alex Ferris. Alright, local recording is going. Uh we back, we back like the juggernaut bitch. This is Alex Lexus with what? the staff. New gaming order. Brother Takuma on your knees, Shinwar and Smart Brother Newt. Uh, today is 3-12-2015 and we got a couple of topics for you. So, w without further ado, let's get started. Uh, Takuma, opening comments before we get going. Come and get the glory! What? Glory! No, what's, I'm What's it, Selma? Unbelievable. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you let people like Takuma start the podcast. I know! Uh, uh, this is friend. This and he one. said he knows. Oh my I god. <laughs> oh. I, love my I, can't, I can't believe that. All right, on, on your knees, uh, uh, open the comments. Um, hmm. I am wearing pants tonight, so none of that tonight. What? <laughs> Who's clapping? What the? Heck? Wow. Unbelievable. Um, I already mentioned to Alex, but I got a special surprise on my stream tomorrow night for Alex. Um. So stay tuned for that on the NGO channel, what? and I really got nothing else at this time. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, Shinwar, opening remarks. Um, what's up, stream? It is Thursday, March twelfth. Happy gaming. That's all I really have, I guess. Alrighty. Oh, so, excuse me. All right, and Smart Brother with your lab coat. What's up? Opening <laughs> remarks. Hello everyone, <laughs> this is Nuke1949, I would like to congratulate myself right here, right now, because Complete Vision Entertainment, my entertainment company package just came back from LegalZoom, so it's official tissue filed with the state of South Carolina, check me out on YouTube at Complete Vision Entertainment, also, what the heck, go ahead, go ahead, also, also, Check out Thumb Thrasher Gaming. That's my own little little piece of my LLC. Had to do that for business purposes. Still definitely down with new gaming order all day, every day. Role won't really change at all. So I just want to thank you all for I don't know all the support. What the heck? Hello? What you got cut right off. Too. Unbelievable. You know what? Okay, we're gonna keep moving since uh, Noob's mic is down for the count. Unbelievable. All right, so um, first topic, and um, on your knees and I were coordinating beforehand. I know uh, most of the staff hadn't had a chance to check out uh, the blog on the Facebook, so we could check things out. But it's pretty easy today. Um, Takuma had brought something up with GameStop getting called out by one of his customers. <laughs> about throwing out, uh, you know, good games, controllers, things of that nature. And it's like, you know, why waste that stuff? You know what I mean? If you're just going to throw it away, I would say, hey, you know what? You may have, like, uh, disadvantaged school systems out there that could use it for after-school programs to keep kids out of trouble, that kind of stuff. I mean, for GameStop to just throw it away, that's not cool. And if you keep in mind that you may have a lot of collectors out there who will pay top dollar for it, you know? So somebody's loss is someone else's yeah. gain. I think it's a waste if this is indeed true. You know, I was looking at the, the article, I'm like, wow, why, why would they do this? You know, like Angry Joe would say, why they do this? Why why, why they do this? <laughs> you know? But, um, you know, going around the, the panel, Takuma, what are your thoughts on GameStop? You know, and I don't want to step on toes because we have a <laughs> former GameStop Sorry, I'm employee back. here. We know you're black, but yeah. Wait, I just came <laughs> back. I wasn't. Did y'all hear the last thing I said? My Scott, nope. everything just cut out. Unbelievable. You know what? We're, it's all good. We already started, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come to you. <laughs> we need the. Well, first, the video. Did y'all hear the last thing I said? No, no we didn't. didn't. You, you, you were plugging and then it just cut out. And then Takuma was plugging. You know what? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get back Y'all didn't to hear you. my introduction? Yeah, we heard your introduction and it cut out. 
Unbelievable. All right, Takuma. Cool. Okay, I'm doing it again next week. Then hello. Okay. Don't worry. You'll have it, uh, a moment. If this video is true and it's credible, it shows the type of characteristics that GameStop is really doing with some really good games. And the guy on the video, he has some really good points. The stuff that could be donated to hospitals, you know, like. Hospitals, the, the people, rec rooms like, and stuff, controllers and everything else. Yeah. A, a lot of good stuff, and there was a lot of good stuff. You can actually like sell, take home. I don't know, but if it's not true, if it's a clever hoax, then that's okay. But I don't know the way the video is set up. I think it's true. If GameStop, is, if GameStop is doing that, that's bad on them. Yeah, I think that's a real waste. Waste, you know what I mean? And people, yeah. and you, if you go and think like how much people paid initially for these games $60 a pop and they're just throwing it away like you know somebody's tissue paper that they wipe their ass with that's wrong what but, I don't understand is like when you it's a new game you turn around you give it back to them why do you get so much less money for it? I'm like I don't understand that Monopoly. that's what I don't they're, understand they're the only one doing it or the, they were the only ones doing it for a while so that's why they got away with it they bought out Funkland and EB games so yeah. there's mm -hmm. no competition no one sent them to sell for hire yeah. or buy back for hire yeah all right. So, well, uh, now on your knees chimed in. You know, anything else okay. you want to add? Yeah, I'm watching the video now. It's muted, so I can't hear what he's saying. But um, half those discs are damaged. Oh. So half those discs have nest uh, have at least one. Well, what the guy on. was saying is that they, the employees, were cutting them. Were doing that, and like the controllers hmm. and stuff. He was saying they were purposely damaging it. So when they threw wow. it out, it wouldn't be usable. Yeah. But my, that's my what guess, he said, you know. My my guess would be that they're trying to fudge their numbers. Um, they may not have to make as many sales if they report a lot of damaged stuff. That would be my guess. Because mm. ah. it, 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 it all comes down to making yourselves look better <coughs> or making more money. In this case, it's you know these franchise guys, they're they're under the gun for the most part. They gotta you know make their dues. Uh, they have to hit certain numbers. So if they report X amount of damaged material. They may get reimbursed by the company, especially if they can't move it. Ooh, um, yeah. If they were uh, good, good, uh, good, you know, good merchandise. So it's probably something along those lines. Um, if it is indeed real. Ah, uh, okay, okay. On your knee, um, um, not on your knee, Shinmar. What are your what? thoughts? Um, I think I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty much um, biased against <laughs> GameStop. Um. I'm not surprised. I, I saw a glimpse of the video. Um, uh, you know, I'm not. Su I'm not surprised by their underhanded tactics. Um, I'm not a big fan of GameStop. Um, I, you know, honestly, I just think they need to really change the way they they do business. Um, not. I know uh, somebody in the in the uh, on the stream right now was a previous. Um, GameStop employee. Um, I will say this. Um, uh, aside from that person, I'm pretty sure there's like a small number of knowledgeable uh, employees slash gamers that work there. But to be honest, half the people don't know nothing at GameStop yeah. about games. Hey, Amen. Um, and you know, yeah. for, for for them to 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 mark up the the products that they're receiving just to throw them away. You know, it should be donated or whatever, and that that's good PR for GameStop for them. You know what I mean? It's a tax write-off too. It, it, thank you. So I mean, for them, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to stay unbiased, but can't because GameStop don't know what they're doing. Uh, let the hate flow. Come on, take a page out of Alex's books. Use the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, I, I just think they, you know, they 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 can use it use it much better and just resell it you'd be surprised yeah that's what i was saying you got collectors out there like you know um i i, I noticed that some people don't realize what they have until it's gone and that's the, as the old cliche goes but I heard um, imagine if they had a video game museum that uh you know i know some folks have some establishments out there where mm -hmm. you know they're collecting you know vintage games and putting them and, and commemorating them you know, the right. GameStop to take these these things and throw them away. You know, we're gonna look back a hundred something years from now, like, hey, you know what? That was a 360 controller. This was an Atari controller. I would like to see a museum for all this stuff instead of throwing the stuff away, or just recycle or do something. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Oh, uh, also, shout out to um, Slinky Jim. You know, uh, yeah. Who? 
like he says his GameStop is pretty good actually they're like four that's just in this area though but uh, yes uh, Jim we're, we're just going uh, by the article you know uh, up here in Jersey GameStop is kind of funny you know some of the yeah. employees don't know what they're talking about <laughs> with the exception of smart brother you know he know he talks hey, about. Uh, you know that hold on, hold on Alex Lexus let me just let me go rephrase that it's and I not didn't even all... get a turn yet no you're hold about on, to get your turn yeah. smart brother hold on it's not <laughs> all the game talking. stops, but the ones that I've dealt with, who, which is like three to four, they don't know what they're doing. That's just a, a, a public service announcement. Go ahead. All right. So, uh, Mr. Labcoat, what are your thoughts on GameStop from the inside? Unbelievable. Insider threat. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I worked at GameStop in 2000, I want to say seven to like 2008-ish, maybe 2009. So okay. it's been a while. Maybe company policy has changed. Um, if that video is valid with the guy showing the scratched games, we don't know, you know, because I, when I worked there, people would trade stuff in and it'd be so damaged that we would trash it. Or we actually sent it. Well, I was told that it was sent somewhere, you know what I mean, and then destroyed. Now, liability wise, when it comes to accessories, mm -hmm. I can kind of see why they would get rid of them because there's like a bad wire or somebody gets injured. Hey, this came from GameStop. You know what I mean? Or GameStop donated this. You know what I mean? There, there may be an issue there. <laughs> um, right. I'm sorry. Whoever that, who's, who's that on the stream that said GameStop was decent? I can't. When I look at the competition, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I got, yeah, I got to do my best by plug, yo. Yo, the, first of all, the GameStop uh, Power Rewards membership is a joke. It is a joke when you can go to Best Buy, get a membership, and get 20% off of brand new games for two years. Wow. I mean, I mean, yeah. And when you do reserves, when you pick up your reserve two weeks later, they give you $10. I mean, it's Ooh. just they're being outdone, and they're getting away from gaming. They're doing phones. They're doing tablets. They're doing so much stuff, and it's like, uh, I don't care about that. I mean, the quality's not there. And then, like, you know, people complain about the trade-in prices. Nothing holds its value these days. I mean, the reason why nothing holds its value, you guys, think about it. You're going to get a new one every year. But if it's like, hey, you're only going to get this once every two or three years, then, yeah, the value will be there. So, I mean, do like I do. I don't buy any games unless I know I want to keep it. You know what I mean? I, I try my best to do that. But hopefully those aren't... I, I wouldn't see a benefit to GameStop of them, you know, trashing the equipment and then throwing it in a dumpster. Because somebody's going to see it. The garbage men themselves are going to see it. Because I'm yeah. pretty sure they probably look. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Depending on what establishments they go. I would. I'm not going to lie. If I was like at a Circuit City or Best Buy taking that trash, hey, I'm going to have to filter through this, yo. Old plasma. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> But Shut you, up. You bro. know what? GameStop, <laughs> it, 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 GameStop is probably sorry, but only sorry that they got caught. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like to, uh, stupid. Takuma said, it's like bad PR for them. You know, like, hey, this is what GameStop does. And we're in a society now where everybody gravitates to bad news. You know, like Wade Barrett, you know? So it's like, come on now. Alex, you said back in the day you used to be a bad dude. Yeah, remember that game for uh, the what? arcade and Nintendo, Bad Dude? <laughs> yeah, I was one of them. I was a couple of shades lighter though, but in any <laughs> case, in any case, uh, shout out to Mugen Ketsuke Nelson, uh, trying to hold it down in your absence. Uh, I hope I'm not having any technical difficulties, so uh, NYC Playboy and the rest of the gang, you know, uh, we're going to take a quick intermission. We're going to hit our next topic. But, uh, oh, uh, Slinky Jim said something, and, uh, yet they have no games 